A good rule of thumb to increase your chances of getting gold is run as much material as you can. And that's exactly what Dan is doing with his custom-built sluice, made from parts that you can pick up at any local hardware store. This is just a classifier, so you dump the rocks in here, you wash them off, toss the big ones out. It's creating a vortex, and he's got these mats that creates a vortex too. And what that does is helps wash the light particles out. The gold comes down to here, has a chance to get caught here, and then another chance to get caught here. So, pretty neat system. Powered by a small battery, Dan can run up to eight hours. Most people can't shovel that long. <laughs> yeah. Your back's going to be out by then. Well, you want to go clean this up? Yeah, let's we'll clean it up. Shut it off. Put the leg back down. You've got a uh, little cleanup station. All right. Let's see here. I think there's a piece right there. Mm -hmm. Piece right there. Yep, sure is. You want to pan it out, Dave? Sluice Lee packs a punch when it comes to processing the dirt. But now, let's see how it catches the Carolina gold. How long you've been doing this? About 15 years. 15? One of the most productive hobbies I've ever got into. A lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, I love it. A lot of people pay for gym memberships, for a therapist. Well, when you're out here doing this, you have all that. I don't think about the stresses of life. You're focused on hunting gold, and finding gold, and solving the problems of getting it. I see some gold poking through already. It's pretty impressive the amount that we ran and I'm seeing a little piece of gold. Blows me away. I've never seen gold in a river that's that crystalline. It is the river of gold. Makes sense. There's a lot of gold in here. After two hours running, we've collected a quarter gram of gold. Normally worth 15 bucks, but because of its rarity, we've banked $25. So if you're short on time and money in the Carolinas, pack light and target the rare gold. It might net you some serious pocket change. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's been a lot of fun. All right, safe travel. All right. If this is an example of the Carolina Slate Belt, I'm excited. If you're thinking of getting a pan, getting a shovel, you should, because you never know where it can lead. That somebody like me that comes from a place that's not really known for gold, it just goes to show that you never know unless you get out and you try what can happen. My next